Oh, Mother Nature. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. What is this? Is that like a movie? It's like a horror film. So these are the tools that I'm busy using. Um, just really basic stuff, you know, some gloves, set of sockets, um, just general hand tools, and then, you know, marine grease, got a grease gun in the shed, drill bits, second skin, and this stuff. Man, so many bugs around here. Here's the boat. I'm gonna pop the cover off. And it's got these little tie downs here. See my colorful strapping. I was a little bit paranoid when I was uh, bringing her home. Um, I've seen horror stories of boats flying off trailers and stuff. So I did not want to uh, experience that. So I'm gonna tidy up here a little bit and oh okay Just, uh, release these straps Just pull them back and you can see the pontoons look really good I mean just really proper so let's see if I can pull this top off what do you call it? Boat cover. Let's see. Let's get that up there. There we go. That's up there. A little bit like the Blair Witch Project right now. <laughs> That's okay. There she is. So you got a bit of damage here. So we're gonna buff that out. And it's come really clean. You can see it's come super clean. So let's pull her back. And this is the most terrifying part because I have to get in the boat and I'm really scared of bugs. I do not like bugs. So I pressure washed everything in here. Looks a bit different to when I walked in the first time. And oh my gosh, look at the bugs. There's bugs everywhere. I don't like bugs. So but I'd rather have some bugs and Okay, somebody's testing out the new car. Um, I'd rather have some bugs and um, and dirt on the top and be working under a really shady tree, such a beautiful tree um, than in the sun. Because this North Carolina heat, oh my goodness, it'll, it'll do you in. So here's a funny story. First time I ever opened up this little, this little hatch, I went like this, and there were, there was a, a hornet's nest in there, or a yellow jacket's nest. Oh my gosh, and I jumped off the boat about 10 feet down. And um, yeah, I just closed it. I was terrified. That was when I went to go look at the boat. The second time, when I went to go pick up the boat with Jared, I'll just put this on the floor. There we go. Bye bye. Um, when I went to go pick up the boat with Jared, I lifted it up again, like that. Oh, please, Lord, let there be nothing inside here. Yeah. Um, and there was a, I mean, there's a remnant of the nest there. Um, there was another nest in the corner there. Once there were like three nests in here, they attacked me again. And I just, I mean, I just jumped off here. I just ran and I jumped and my landing wasn't graceful, but it was a landing. So that's the, that's the boat. Um, 
I've got some stuff to do today. So first things first is I'm going to start removing all the furniture. After doing some research, it looks like reupholstering this furniture is probably not going to be the best deal. Um, because it's not just reupholstering, they will have to replace the foam. By the looks of it, reupholster all the way down to the bottom here. After doing all that, you may as well have just bought new ones. So, and I mean this, this is in really good condition. Really nice, comes with the windscreen. It's broken on the one side here. But I think a little bit of TLC and <laughs> maybe flex tape, I can get it back up. I'm pretty sure that this fish finder is dead. Just dead, dead. But everything else works great. Um, trim and tilt works when the battery's connected. I have to get a new captain's chair. And I'm throwing these out. I will keep the bases because they have they have nice um, uh, nice mounts on them. So I'll keep this. It's pretty good condition actually. I mean, it's just like bugs nests everywhere. It's going to be terrifying taking these things apart. Because I'm really scared of bugs. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I'm scared of bugs. So. And then I'm probably going to remove these. And. I need to. I need to figure out what I'm going to do as far as cheating. I've got a couple ideas in mind gates are in the wrong place which may be a problem but it could be worse I mean I'm working on a boat that's pretty cool alright so this is just not turning at all well it is turning except just the plastic is turning so that's like not gonna work so I'm gonna take these screws off here and let's see if I can get them off. see if this guy will work yeah, looks good okay. I'm really sure it's gonna fall on me okay that's good so I got the screws now these guys are quite expensive because they're all stainless steel apparently yeah these are stainless so I have to find a safe place to put them be safe okay now this chair yeah it's ready to go okay oh no i'm ruining my upholstery it's a pretty cool little mechanism on the bottom hopefully i don't have to replace that um that's the problem there so i need to need to get in there with some um, I guess WD-40 or something. It looks like it's corroded over there. So, get that soak in. Then pull this off. Pull this whole bracket off. Clean her up. And put in a new captain's chair. You can come with me, young man. And I'll put this over here. Oopsie. Put this over here. Like so. And now I have my chairs. Ready to take the bases off. Okay, now it's because... The stainless steel hardware is so expensive, like the screws and stuff. I am, even though I'm discarding these, I'm going to save as much as I can. So try and get it out.
Yeah, that's in good nick. Yeah. All right, so I'm take these guys off and put all the hardware somewhere. Just noticing that some of them are shorter in the front and the back, which I'm thankful that I'm videoing because I would definitely forget. And I need to bring some zip locks with me next time and label everything. Right now, this is going here. There we go. All right, so, I mean, look at the bugs. Look at the bugs nests. Oh, please, the gnome. I can't handle that stuff. Oof, something's, something's living in there. It's terrifying. This one's just spiders. Now you... Okay, so that's loose. That was rather simple. There's the bolts. You can see, obviously, whatever um, was I screwed into is just rusted through. So let's take it off. It's nice and clean. Oh, Mother Nature. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. What is this? Is that like a movie? It's like a horror film. Is there anything living in there? Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 I'm gonna throw that away. Right now. All right. So these things are pretty well fused down. Look at that. I guess that's what the original carpet looked like somewhat. Yeah, carpet on boats, no bueno. And again, more bugs nest. It's just gross. I like it. These are the rod holders. I can't imagine what's living inside of them. But my boat will not have rod holders in here.
Now I'm going to loosen up these seats and get them off the boat. Oh man. Okay, so that looks like a live well. And I'm going to have to just start unscrewing things because I don't really know how to disassemble this. I think I'm going to have to figure it out on the fly. So we'll start off with getting these screws off here. Taking those guys off. I think I could probably save this live well and use it for um, like a cooler box or something like that. Looks in pretty good condition, just a bit dirty. All right, let me get started. Gotta get that guy out. So, not too sure how to do that, to be honest. I think I gotta use something in there and then turn it. Oh, figure it out in a second. Okay, got it done. Had to use a hole saw, cut through that in there, and um, then it just pulled straight out. So now, I gotta loosen up all these screws over here. And it looks like there's nuts and bolts coming through. And start taking pieces off. Okay, well it looks like that one came loose for me. Ah, there's a roach in there. Wonderful. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it looks like I just got a couple screws over here to take out and then she should pop free. Or well, that's the theory. I don't know if this one comes off. It's, it's, oh, this one comes off. Oh, it's very dirty. Interesting. Well, I'm going to be getting rid of these. So if anybody wants them, let me know. There we go. Okay, so we've got speakers in here too. I've got all the screws taken out. So, yeah, she's moving. It's good. Woo! Looks good. There we go. Loose, oh my gosh, look at that spider. I think it's huge. So, a couple more things I gotta loosen here, I guess. For now, I'm gonna leave it there, and I need to get to the back of this couch inside. The hornet's nest. So that should be fun.
All right, so we got the siding off. <laughs> yeah. And uh, got some cheap lab over here. So, and got all the furniture off. And now we're going to start and get the, start getting the deck off. Found a nice little bird's nest, which is pretty terrifying. And it was a bit of a challenge because there's an aluminium skin underneath the boat. So, if you can see over here, everything is, is fastened with um, nuts and bolts. So that's going to be challenging because there's a skin all the way under. So, there's the skin there. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I've got everything, well not everything, I've got like a couple things and still need to take off here. Um, but basically everything is off and it looks a lot bigger when there's no furniture on it. I'm contemplating leaving this guy on, leaving the um, console on maybe just shoveling it or pivoting it to one side to get it out I don't know there's a lot of wires under there that seem pretty daunting but we'll see I may take it off and yeah got most of the the C channel off some of the C channel here I still have to take off with um, some speciality tooling I don't have here it's at home and yeah Gonna start ripping the carpet off soon. And that'll be fun. See you next time.